Welcome back to another edition of Art Avenue, coming to you from a place of art right here in the Alberni Valley, so more about that in a few minutes. Our current exhibit at the Rolling Art Centre is Stealing Nature, um, and that is Victoria Dowdy. She's a lovely metal artist, so stop by the gallery and check that out, and that's on until the end of March. And then our next exhibit is another unusual exhibit, but a wonderful one, and one you won't want to miss. Um, it's a joint exhibit with Rob Liberon and Klaus Joel. Um, it's a dual exhibit of mosaics, as you can tell here, um, some soap, star, soap stone carving, he said that with a mouth full of rocks and also some some drawings so check that out that's coming up so more information about that soon and our community coloring books I've been talking about this for a while they are now available at the Roland Art Center and they are selling fast great way to um, to look at some um, personal or some wonderful spots in the Alberni Valley and it's a great way to support local art and the community art council memberships now if you are current mark membership those are up for renewal so stop by and pick up your application or just come out and uh, take out an application to help support local arts well don't get too comfortable I know we're right here in front of the roaring fire and the wonderful mosaic carpeting but I'm gonna let you know what's happening at Shars Landing because there's lots of music and wonderful concerts taking place there so we'll get right to it. On Thursday March 23rd is Newfoundland's Dave Panting and Nova Scotia's Greg Sim and that's a bit of Celtic folk. On Friday March 24th is C.R. Avery and that is a brilliant poet and spoken word and a blues artist so a lot of everything going on. On Saturday March 25th is Heather Keezer and Steve Christofferson and they are in concert. A little bit of jazz and French and pop so you won't want to miss out on that. On Wednesday 20, March 29th is Open Mic and that's Own the Stage with Amateur Musician Evening. So if you're a local evening, or sorry, a local amateur musician, stop by Shars Landing on March 29th. On Thursday, March 30th is Alberni Valley um, Words on Fire, and that's words um, for an open mic, and that's featuring Ian Cognito, so hopefully I've said that right. And Saturday, April 1st is a dance concert, and that's another of Shars Landing, House Call for Dr. Bones, a bit of gospel-infused blues, folk, and um, funk. So if you're interested in any of those events taking place at Shars Landing, stop by for your advance tickets today. Well, as you can see, I'm standing in front of another beautiful mosaic, which was um, done by Klaus, so we had a, a chance to catch up to him. I always was in construction, um, and uh, I gravitated into the tile work, and then the tile work just got more complicated. I began fixing uh, mosaics, uh, old houses, and then it, it just expanded and it kept going. You know, you start something and you you sort of like it and then you get into it more and then other people like it and all of a sudden you like it more because everyone else likes it and pretty soon the energy builds and you just go for it and it's, um, I call them not mosaic but time pieces because each piece, each little uh, one inch, square one inch can take an hour to two hours. The trees, uh, the woods, the forests, um, I really just go with the wind, you know, I, I'll be out walking with my dog and an eagle will fly over my head and I, that's where I'll be in my next piece. And something else will happen and I'll gravitate that direction. So I don't stay in one line, I just follow my passion from one minute to the next. Well, that's it for another edition of Art Avenue, but a few reminders before I go. The second annual Solstice Festival, Arts Festival, is coming up in June. Lots of activities taking part, port days, lots of things happening down at Capitol Theatre, as well as Art Matters, and the Roland Art Centre, Days with the Arts. So if you are an artist and you would like to um, rent a table for the weekend, they are $60 and you can pick up your applications at the Roland Art Centre. Now we'll go right into our book sale. That's happened in May, um, our annual giant book sale, and we are currently taking all your gently used books so great time to do some spring cleaning and help out the community arts council and help out future artists so until next time i'm melissa martin for art avenue